heart of the untamed wilderness, legendary frontiersman Daniel Boone faced a monstrous adversary unlike any other. Amidst the rugged terrain of Kentucky, Boone's harrowing encounter with a colossal giant would test his courage and resilience to its limits. Join us as we delve into the captivating historical tale of survival. Set against the backdrop of a mysterious and awe-inspiring confrontation between man and beast. Daniel Boone and his son were iconic figures in American history, known for their pioneering spirit, adventurous exploits, and remarkable resilience in the face of adversity. Daniel Boone, born in 1734 in Pennsylvania, was a legendary frontiersman who played a vital role in the exploration and settlement of Kentucky, blazing trails through the untamed wilderness with courage and determination. Boone's early years were marked by a deep love for the great outdoors and a wandering spirit that led him to seek adventure in the uncharted territories of the American West. His skills as a hunter, trapper, and woodsman were unparalleled, earning him a reputation as one of the finest woodsmen of his time. In the late 18th century, Daniel Boone emerged as a pivotal figure in the westward expansion of America. His endeavors played a significant role in the unfolding narrative of American history as he spearheaded the exploration and settlement of new frontiers. Boone's efforts were instrumental in forging pathways for future pioneers, mirroring the adventurous spirit portrayed in tales of that time period. To get a sense of the time period, it was a few short decades after the tumultuous era depicted in the movie The Last of the Mohicans. Notably, he played a key role in the creation of the Wilderness Road through the Cumberland Gap, a vital passage facilitating the migration of settlers into the uncharted territories of Kentucky and beyond. Boone's son, whose name is often lost to history, shared his father's passion for adventure and the wilderness. Together, they embarked on countless expeditions into the unknown, facing the dangers of the frontier with unwavering courage and fortitude. Their achievements were many, from hunting and trapping in the dense forests to defending their homesteads against hostile Native American tribes, Daniel Boone and his son carved out a legacy of bravery and resilience in the face of daunting challenges. Their names became synonymous with the spirit of exploration and the indomitable will to conquer the wildlands of America. As they roamed the untamed wilderness, Daniel Boone and his son encountered countless dangers and triumphs forging a bond that transcended mere blood ties. Theirs was a partnership forged in the crucible of adversity, a testament to the enduring power of the human spirit in the face of the unknown. Excuse this brief interruption. If you enjoy our videos, please take just 10 seconds to like and subscribe to our channel. Your support is crucial and it helps us grow and improve. If you're unsure what to comment, a simple, I subscribed would help us drastically, and I will be sure to personally thank you. We look forward to bringing you many more captivating stories in the future. Enjoy the rest of the show. And so, as they set out on yet another journey into the heart of the Kentucky wilderness, little did they know that their paths would soon cross with a creature of legend, a towering colossus that would test their courage, resilience, and ingenuity like never before. The stage was set for a showdown between man and beast, a clash of titans that would echo through the ages as a tale of survival, bravery, and the enduring bond between a father and his son. One fateful spring morning, the sun rose gently over the rolling hills of Kentucky, casting a golden hue over the awakening wilderness. Daniel Boone, a rugged frontiersman with a weathered face and piercing eyes, emerged from his humble log cabin to tend to his daily chores. The air was crisp and invigorating, carrying the sweet scents of blooming wildflowers and the promise of a new day. As Boone made his way to the paddock to check on his two prized horses, he was met with a scene of devastation. The corral stood empty, the gate swinging lazily in the breeze, and Boone's heart sank as he realized that his beloved animals had been stolen. A sense of anger and determination welled up within him as he surveyed the tracks left by the thieves unmistakably those of Native American warriors. Without hesitation, 
Boone called upon his son, a brave and stalwart companion who shared his father's love for the untamed frontier. Together, they swiftly armed themselves with rifles, tomahawks, and a steely resolve to track down the perpetrators and reclaim what was rightfully theirs. The bond between father and son was unbreakable, forged in the crucible of the wilderness, and they knew that only by standing together could they hope to overcome the challenges that lay ahead. With grim determination etched on their faces, Boone and his son set out on a relentless pursuit, their keen eyes scanning the dense undergrowth for any sign of their stolen horses. The forest echoed with the sounds of rustling leaves, chirping birds, and the distant howls of wildlife, creating a vibrant tapestry of life and danger. As they followed the trail of the thieves deeper into the heart of the untamed wilderness, Boone's senses sharpened, his every instinct honed to a razor's edge. The terrain grew rougher, the woods denser, and the presence of unseen threats loomed ever closer. Yet, undeterred by the perils that surrounded them, father and son pressed onward, their spirits unbroken and their determination unshakable. In that fleeting moment of loss and defiance, Daniel Boone and his son embraced the wild unpredictability of the frontier, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead in their quest to retrieve their stolen horses and restore order to the vast and unforgiving landscape they called home. Tracking the thieves led Boone and his son to the headwaters of Kingston Creek, where they stumbled upon signs of the Indians' presence. Undeterred, they continued their chase, following the trail down the creek to where it emptied into the Licking River. With unwavering resolve, they crossed the river and pressed on, their eyes set on recovering their stolen property. As they ventured further into the rugged terrain, Boone and his son found themselves on the bank of the Ohio River, near present-day Cincinnati. Their pursuit had led them perilously close to a large group of Indians, forcing them to abandon their quest and retreat to safer grounds. It was late afternoon when they landed near the mouth of the Licking River, weary but determined to push on. Boone decided to make camp near a spring at the foot of a hill, hoping to replenish their supplies and rest for the night. As evening descended and a light rain drizzled down, they settled in for the night, unaware of the danger lurking in the shadows. The following morning dawned misty and foggy, shrouding the landscape in an eerie cloak of mystery. Boone and his son set out to explore the surroundings, each taking a different path along the hillside. As they ventured further, the fog began to lift revealing a chilling sight that would haunt Boone for the rest of his days. In the distance, Boone's keen eyes caught sight of a colossal figure, unlike anything he had ever seen before. A giant of a man, over ten feet tall, with a pale complexion and long blonde hair, strode purposefully through the wilderness. As Boone watched in stunned silence, he saw the giant confront his son, who stood bravely behind a tree, preparing to defend himself. With a swift and powerful grasp, the giant seized Boone's son, disarming him and overpowering him with ease. Helpless to intervene, Boone witnessed the giant lift his son high above his head, slamming him to the ground with brutal force. Fear and desperation gripped Boone's heart as he struggled to find a way to save his son from certain doom. With trembling hands and a heavy heart, Boone took aim at the giant, his fingers poised on the trigger but the dense foliage and the giant's swift movements made it a perilous shot. Fearing for his son's life, Boone hesitated, unwilling to risk hitting his own flesh and blood. As the giant prepared to deliver a final fatal blow, Boone knew he had no choice but to act. With a steady hand and a resolute spirit, he fired his weapon, the bullet finding its mark with deadly accuracy. The giant stumbled and fell, crushing Boone's son beneath his massive frame. Rushing to his son's side, Boone frantically worked to revive him, his hands trembling with fear and uncertainty. Time seemed to stretch endlessly as Boone prayed for his son's survival, willing him to breathe once more. And miraculously, against all odds, his son stirred, his eyes flickering open as life returned to his battered body. 
Relief flooded Boone's heart as he saw his son sitting up, battered but alive. Together they examined the fallen giant, marveling at his immense size and peculiar features. The giant's body was covered in short hair, his eyes large, his nose thick, and his hands and feet disproportionately big. Boone and his son measured the giant's immense frame, confirming his staggering height of over ten and a half feet. The enormity of the encounter left an indelible mark on Boone's mind, a tale of survival and resilience against a creature of colossal proportions. In the aftermath of his harrowing encounter with the mysterious giant, Daniel Boone found solace in recounting the incredible tale to a group of fellow frontiersmen gathered around a crackling campfire. The flickering flames cast dancing shadows on their weather-beaten faces, their eyes wide with wonder and disbelief as Boone's deep voice wove a spellbinding narrative of courage and survival. Seated on a rough-hewn log, Boone spoke with a mixture of solemnity and awe, his rugged features illuminated by the firelight. His words carried the weight of truth, each syllable resonating with the raw emotion of the terrifying ordeal he had endured. As he described the giant's towering figure and ferocious demeanor, a hushed silence fell over his rapt audience, hanging on his every word with bated breath. The men gathered around Boone listened intently, their faces reflecting a range of emotions, from fear to disbelief to admiration for the legendary frontiersman's resilience in the face of such a formidable adversary. Some shook their heads in quiet disbelief, unable to fathom the sheer magnitude of the creature Boone had encountered, while others nodded in silent acknowledgement of the dangers that lurked in the wild lands beyond their settlements. As Boone reached the climax of his tale, describing the heart-stopping moment when he took aim at the giant to save his son, a collective gasp escaped the lips of his enraptured audience. The tension in the air was palpable, the crackling fire lending an almost surreal quality to Boone's chilling account of survival against impossible odds. And though the truth of that fateful encounter would forever remain shrouded in mystery, Boone's recounting of the events that transpired that day near the mouth of the Licking River would become the stuff of legend. His bravery and unwavering resolve in the face of unimaginable danger would echo through the annals of history inspiring generations of pioneers and adventurers to dare to explore the unknown and conquer their deepest fears. As the night wore on and the embers of the campfire dwindled to a warm glow, Boone's compatriots sat in reverent silence, their minds filled with visions of giant men and epic struggles against the forces of nature. And as they parted ways to seek their rest for the night, a newfound respect for the intrepid frontiersman Daniel Boone took root in their hearts, forever bound by the shared experience of hearing a tale that would be retold for generations to come.